Yes, I want to address the panel, um, the young gentleman there. What's his name, sir? And uh, your name, sir? Right, Ferdinand Nichols and Kim Right. You have a very brilliant speech of representation. That's, this is what I want to ask you on behalf of both of you. Now, somewhere in 2000, the Vatican City has spoken that all bishops, priests, pastors, all eloquent religion, According to the 16 articles, whether that's nice or whether it's the Vatican City, it still remains the same thing. If they do not comply with the rules and regulations, they will say carefully it will be excommunication. Also. Now, excommunication, excommunication. Right. Now, what I'm seeing coming out, what we all have just said previous. It is now coming to us, even with the identification charge all being spoken about. Now, it means that for them, the protocol of the international world that governs, that is the Rothschild, it tells us, therefore, then, that all of us in this universe is governed under the umbrella of them. Yes? Excuse me, sir. Therefore, then, Therefore then, if you all are going to represent this country because of what has happened, how would you be able to fight the protocol of this universe that makes their sanction every man with power? And, and this is not a man show. Even this gentleman here, the photographer. God Almighty. Excuse me, sir. You, the evangelist, the young electoral, shall I say? You remember, remember your name, but you understand it, you? Your question, your question, your question. I'm finishing, it's a mass. this is a serious thing. I, I realize that. I'm asking therefore then, when they call for their representation, that you all are representing us, what will be your input? Excuse me. What would be your own input? He said such a power and a master. So we are here talking about what would be our input. Okay, so yeah. as, as a group, um, yes, go ahead. Since okay. address, it's a very serious question though. Since you addressed the question to myself, sir, I have a simple answer for that. The God of God leave sleep on Sundays. And I've already said it is a very serious thing to cross your swords with a man of God. Regardless of whether he is a, a pastor or whatever it is. And it's a what the Pope speaks in the Vatican has nothing to do with people who are non Catholic. I am not a Catholic. Let me be clear on this. I'm an evangelical. So, right? so I, I'm not, I'm not so engaging so with you. No, no, not tonight. I, I, not, I, I, no, 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 no. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There was a little fellow in the Bible called David. And I had a big army called the Philistines. Does anybody know the story? And everybody said that he couldn't beat the man. Remember that story? But if you know it, the rest is history and the rest is my case. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I want to respond to the gentleman's story. Uh, I'm not Catholic either. Right? But I saw during COVID, the Prime Minister of Barbados had a book. In a picture, she was sitting with this really book. And she had four four facets on the book. And she was, you know, speaking about. Pope Francis and how good of a man he is and well I've never heard of Prime Minister Professor Great Richard. Uh, but she was, as I say, quoting Pope Francis. And you're saying that we have to be under that particular umbrella. Okay? Uh, if you read history, you will see that there was always a Protestant church. A church that protested against the rule of the poor um, traditional thing. Right? You're willing to die, though. You're serious over this thing. But if you read the history, yeah. you will see that there are churches, and churches have men and women of 
for your intelligence and integrity, who then went on to either run these countries or be the conscience of backbone of countries, and they rejected the rule of the government. Right. So, so, right, if you had, as Pastor Ferdinand said, you had men and women of God with the correct and on the right track leadership, was the understanding of these things, there are means and ways to get what you have to do done. It doesn't have to be a long fight. We don't have to get on the mic and curse the poor and curse. You don't need to do that. But remember right? what he said, every man must bow. That's what he said. Every man must bow. The Lord, the Lord said, how can you be? He doesn't know what God said. But God said, God can you be? Not to. So, I am saying to you, we, so I'm saying to you that there's a Bible, if you believe your Bible, the last book the last days, and we can see clearly from everything that's happening that we are in the last days, right? In there. And he spoke about the mark of the beast, where you can't buy or sell without the mark. With some something that you already need. You can't buy or sell without it, right? But it is 144,000. Yeah, 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 that's it. 144,000.